Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to be discussing about our new topic that is called a report generator and taking for screenshot. These two topics that we are going to discuss. And next video session also, I'll go and show you that report generator with proper way of showing. Okay. That also separate session. This is a simple cucumber plug uh, adding one. Okay. Just for cucumber one. And next one also cucumber one only. Little bit a little bit more. That's it. Okay. And in this session, first of all, we need to go and see that how we can able to generate the report. And here there is a hook. Okay. And in this particular location, okay, uh, you can see it here, right? And here we need to add one formatter. Formatter called uh, which format of report you want to generate. Okay. And here I'm going to use from the last and double quotation, there is a format, format options. Okay. And in this one, you can take as a format you can use, not format options or format. We'll see. Okay. Here in double quotation, you can mention for HTML. Okay. Because we required for HTML and colon. And then use for cucumber, cucumber slash a report, okay, dot HTML, okay. This is the report you are expecting, okay. Now just I'm saving, okay, just I saved it, okay. And I'm going to open my terminal and I can here, I'll run for send one more time, okay. Now if you see here, there is no HTML tag in my location. See, after all of this, and I'm just I'm closing here. Now, here it should open for one file called reporter. One minute. We'll go here and open the See, there is no JSON. Why well, it is not generated? It should generate one format options awaiting. Where it is basically a format. Cucumbers iPhone report dot stm perfect. One moment. Not the phone. It should generate one particular report, HTML report. Uh, yeah, now it is coming. You can see here, right? Uh, e I added for addition, that's why it is not generated. Okay, so for that. And you can see now here, cucumber iPhone report.html. Okay, just for E or uh, the spelling mistake, that's why it is showing like this. And you can open this particular cucumber report. You can see now. 100% pass, 27 day again, and what is the cucumber, what is the node, and what is the uh, Windows operating system. And you can see here, uh, in test scenarios, what are the scenarios executed? I have run only one particular feature file, and also it is having for two scenarios. That two scenarios, it is explained here. Okay? Now we can able to see the report, right? Now, how we can able to take it, our... Now we can take the screenshots now, okay? Now I want to take my screenshots. How we can able to take the screenshot? We can take for uh, anything. We can use for hooks location, which look here, right? 
here we can able to use for after every scenario you want you can use for uh, before steps also there right now before all now you can see before before step and is there before is basically every scenario type okay a complete scenario is completed or not if you use for before step it will take for every step time okay after it will take for closing time okay these are the two ways we can able to take okay i don't want to before starting time and after ending time i want then you can able to use for after step after each step i want to take the screenshot okay in this moment you can able to come back here and use it here after step after step in this async format and you can create the function and use it here okay now what you can able to do if you want all the places you can able to use it otherwise you can go for after is the best okay each scenario closing time if you want for every time you can able to take first we will use for after then we will go for after step both the same just we need to replace it that's it okay and now here first of all we need to take the status or you can able to take the uh, exact one okay now if you want pass or fail whatever it may be we want to take something images and a bit and i'm going to take this is the as a face picture because we need to use the same one right dot screenshot okay in this screenshot what are the things it will take it return in the buffer with the captured screenshot which is the captured screenshot it will come and here we can take it as this one okay and here first of all we can uh, mention for path in this path we can specify for single quotation and dot slash if you want in the specific folder you can specify that uh, folder as test results slash screenshot slash any name of this okay name dot we can use for png or any type of things automatically it will create for that okay dot png and uh, what type of data you are expecting type is png format okay this is for my file expected zero now but got the thomas you can Okay, now like this, we can able to use here, right? The name or uh, basically, if you run for all the steps, I mean, like all the scenarios, two scenarios, two scenarios, same name if you are using, right? Our script will be uh, like overlapping that uh, screen, it will take only one screen. Then, what is the use there? For this moment, we can able to use there is another name, it is called as a pickle. Pickle, okay and the function you need to pass it as a curly brace pickle okay this particular pickle what will happen it will give us the name okay and here we can use for one tilde operator one is it and here also we need to specify tilde operator so okay and also we can replace this particular name it called uh dollar two curly braces and we can specify pickle dot new okay what it will uh take it right this is basically it will take the scenario name what the scenario name it is there and this particular scenario name it will take and it will 
provide that particular screenshot name. Okay. And then what is the extension we are using? PNG. PNG is a lightweight application and it will store as a file. Okay. Then after that, we are able to take the screenshot. Now we need to attach the screenshot and we need to save it, right? For a wait, this particular page or this one. That attach. This dot attach. This dot attach, it is going to attach that image images and then we need to specify that format also okay and here we need to use that image slash png okay and now if you run now again and this is completely for attaching the screenshot under like pre, uh, taking the screenshot after completion of that That is closed. Okay. Now, and I'll go hit here and again I'll hit it here. So now you can see here. Now there is a attached image is there. Attach image. If you expand this one, you can see there is one screenshot it is present. And also second one also it is present. Okay. Like this, we can be able to take it. In case you maybe want to question it. Uh, I don't want for all the past. I want to see only for failure scenarios. Then this moment, what we can able to do. This time, what we can do, right? In this particular location, just we can able to add it for one particular called as a result. Okay. This result, based upon the result set, we are going to do. Okay. Now, here I will uh, take it here. One if condition. If my result question mark dot status okay is equal to equal to status status dot paid if my status dot ping then you can take it for my screenshot otherwise no Okay, otherwise, no. Now, just I'm copying again and I'm pasting here. Okay, just I pasted here. Now, one more time, I'm going to run now. Okay, now in this moment, it will not take as a screenshot because my script is not failed. Automatically, few scripts are passed, right? Now, it is also passed, and it will also pass. Now, it will not generate for any script as well. Okay, you can see now again one more time. I'm opening, I'm expanding here. You can see there is no attachment now. Previous, there is attachment, is there now? There is no attachment. Why? Because my script got passed. And what we are expecting here, if my status got failed, then you can take it. Otherwise, no. Now I can do one thing. Just I'll, I hope it will fail it. You can see now. Because this application, right? One time if you log in, automatically it will log in. That is uh, happening in this particular application. Hercule Tools is the application is a lightweight. For testing purpose, it will give us the code. That's why we are most of the time I'm using. See now, scripts got failed. Okay, now my scripts are get the screenshot. You will see. See, two failed. And also it is failed in top itself. There is an attachment to the If you go here, and again it is also screenshot, it is there. Okay. Both the places, the similar format. Okay. Like this, we can able to Take the screenshot as well whenever it is failed. Okay. Just I will change it now because we need to pass case also. See, right? Because of that. Okay. 
Hope it this information helps for you for taking the screenshot and generating for STM under put. And next video session, I am going to show you uh, comparing to this particular screenshot, we will see for a little bit good screenshot. Okay, HTML report, we can see that. Okay, now coming video. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.